yes this is the video you've all been waiting for the mtn TurboNet, one of the fast moving 4g routers here in ghana everybody's buying it i've bought it you've bought it probably for your home for your business or for the office but why is everyone buying mtn TurboNet and not this because mtn TurboNet gives you the cheapest bundle deals currently they are the cheapest here in ghana Everybody is buying it probably to access the internet, stream videos, Netflix, YouTube, Vimeo, Dell Motion. But what are the other things you can do with MT and TableNet? My name is Enoch and this is STEC Studios. TableNet has some cool nice features inside it that can come in handy as you use it for your day-to-day -day activities and you don't necessarily have to be a tech savvy before you can be able to know how to use these features. Let's explore. The TableNet gives you the ability to schedule internet cafe times for devices that are connected to it. You can set a time limit for devices to be able to access the internet. This can come in handy for parents who want to limit the time that their kids access the internet. Apart from that, it can also come in handy for employers who want to limit the time period that their employees can be able to access the internet. If you want to schedule internet curfews, you can easily do it through the app that came with the TableNet. For the purpose of this uh, video, we're going to use Huawei HiLink. So first, I'll look for my app. Looking for my app now, Huawei HiLink. Yes. just have to log in and these are the devices currently connected to my TableNet so if I want to put or shadow internet curfews on any of them I'll click on the device go to parental control add a timer start time eight o'clock end time probably to eight in the evening every day i can choose either weekends weekdays every day anytime i want and i just add so right now i've restricted this device from accessing my table net so this device can only access the table net in between the hours of eight in the morning to eight in the evening every day you can also block some specific websites that you don't want people to visit uh, this can come in handy for parents who want to block some websites you know pornography sites and other sites that they don't want their kids to access All right, to, so to restrict people from having access to some particular website, you bring up your web browser, you head on to the router settings by typing 192.168.8.1 in your browser's address bar, you hit enter to open this interface for you. We go to login, you log in with your username and password, you head on to settings, and you go down to security and to domain name filter so what we have here is a do domain name filter list currently is empty we have what we call the blacklist and the whitelist blacklist is if you want to set websites that you don't want users to access whitelist is if you want to set website that users can access so you can quickly click on add you type a web address that you don't want users to have access to 
like a pawn site xnxs.com you turn the status on you click ok you apply and that is it now users can not be able to have access to sns so let's try and see xnss.com enter yes it's not going through so blocking is successful so parents who don't want their kids to have access to some specific websites at home you can easily block this website employ employers who want who don't want to uh, their employees to have access to some specific website whilst on the job can also do the same and block those websites you can also block unwanted devices from accessing your device you can go through the list of devices that are connected probably by mistake someone has notice or seen your password somewhere i don't know so once in a while you can just go through the list of devices currently connected or devices that have connected in the past and you can be able to block the devices that you don't want them to have access to your internet all right so if you want to block unwanted devices from accessing your tablenet internet you Hit on a web browser, you go to the router settings by typing the web address 192.168.8.1 and you go to login. I think I was already logged in, so I'll have to log out. But when you get there, you quickly log in with your username and password and you go to settings this interface is a very old one because currently the table that are shipped and sold by mtn have a new upgraded firmware that can easily let you view your devices but for the sake of this tutorial we go to settings and down to security to device manager and here you can see all the devices that are connected to my table so I can easily block any one of them that I don't know as quickly as possible. You can also create a separate Wi-Fi network for visitors or guests that come to your home especially if your original Wi-Fi network has been connected to a lot of devices at your home like mine I've, I've connected my Wi-Fi to my camera my smart uh, socket my smart switches and I can't afford to change the password over and over again all the time because when I receive a guest I give the Wi-Fi uh, to them to be able to access so definitely they are able to see the password and I can't go over and change them all the time so to prevent this from happening you can create a different Wi-Fi network for guests so that whenever they come you can be able to give it out to them to, for them to be able to access the internet okay so to create your separate Wi-Fi network first you have to bring up a web browser and you navigate to your router settings by typing 192.168.8.1 into the uh, browser's address bar to navigate to this screen you log in into the settings you navigate go down to WLAN then finally to WLAN basic settings so this is where you can set two or more Wi-Fi networks looking here I already have two running STEC IT support services and STEC guest Wi-Fi so when I receive 
guests I give them the Estec guest Wi-Fi and I use the Estec IT support services for my personal use TableNet can also give you the ability to be able to transfer files from one device to another, especially in an office environment. Instead of passing pen drives around, you know, you can just do it straight for it through the Wi Fi network. And this can be done by enabling sharing on both devices so that they can be able to pair and share files. It can be done on your Mac can be done on your Windows and it's possible you can do it on your Android and I know a lot of you have been doing it already because you use um, Zender. Zender uses the same technology like that. The TurboNet can also give you the ability to be able to control your TV wirelessly. Some smart televisions nowadays uh, come with a mobile app that can enable you control your TV via a wireless uh, technology. You can switch channels, you can change input, you know, you can do virtually everything you can use your remote to do. And this can be achieved via the TableNet. TableNet can also give you the ability to print directly from your mobile phone, especially if you have a wireless enabled printer. When someone sends you a document through WhatsApp, you don't really have to get it onto a laptop before you can be able to print. You can easily connect your phone to your wireless enabled printer through the TableNet and voila, you just print straight forward. And it's going to be very efficient to if you have a whole lot of devices like laptops, desktop, in your office with one printer, you can easily achieve that using the TableNet. All what you have to do is you connect your wireless enabled printer to the TableNet. As long as those devices are on the same network as a printer, anybody can issue a command and you get your print out. And with companies who want to cut down costs, you can just buy one single printer and connect it to about 10 laptops or desktop computers at the same time through the TableNet wireless technology. Or what you have to do is you connect all the 10 laptops or, the, or the 10 desktops to the TableNet, you connect your wireless enabled printer to the TableNet and everyone can print at any time. Not just wireless enabled printers, smart devices like smart sockets, smart bulbs, smart switches can also be controlled via your mobile phone through the TableNet. You can turn on and off any device from anywhere around the world as long as that device is a smart device. With Google Home and Amazon Alexa, all these devices can be controlled with your voice as long as these devices are connected to your TableNet and they are receiving internet. The TableNet can give you the ability to make phone calls to all what you have to do is you get a cable telephone. You connect it at the back of the table net and voila you, you can just dial any number and it will go through this can come in handy for families who want to have a home telephone line you can easily achieve that by just buying a cable telephone hooking it up at the back of the table net so well you see the table net doesn't only give you access to the internet it gives you a whole lot more than you can ever imagine and there are other 4G routers on the market that can give you all these features we've talked about but still the TableNet stands out because it gives you the best bundle deals ever.